Welcome back. For more on our top stories and others, please visit our website, channelstv.com and youtube.com forward slash channels web. You can also watch us on the go on your mobile device. Log on to m.channelstv.com or download the Channels TV app for Android, iOS and Windows phones from the respective stores. Having the Channels TV and Channels 24 apps will give you access to news and updates. You also have the eyewitness feature so you too can be part of the news. Just install the app, then tap and swipe to reveal the eyewitness menu and follow the instructions to share those pictures, videos or news of happenings around you. 30 years after serving as the first premier of the Western region, Chief Abafemir Wolowo remains an example of a good Democrat and a servant leader. These qualities were re echoed by dignitaries at the 30th Remembrance Service held in his honor at the Church of Nigeria Anglican Communion in Ikene, Ogun State, Southwest Nigeria. The platform provided the opportunity to challenge the current crop of politicians on the need to emulate the ideals and philosophy of the late leader. Chief Obafemi Awolowo, a rare political gem and a great nationalist remembered for initiating the free education policy in the Western region and enduring legacy that has kept the region on the lead in terms of education today. Well, these are some of the beneficiaries of that legacy, senators and elder statesmen all gathered here to celebrate a man believed to have laid the foundation for the infrastructure in the western region and indeed across the country. This church service holding at the Anglican church in Ikena, his hometown, is in memory of his legacies. In his sermon titled, Remembering Obafemi Awulawa in Joyful Service of God and Humanity, the Bishop of Remo Diocese, Reverend Olushin of Fakwe, says our enduring legacies in the areas of education, health and good governance still lives after him. Why Chief Obafi Nagolo was denied the opportunity of leading Nigeria to greater heights politically, educationally and socially as president, but those who are opposed with his ideologies, yet at his death, because the truth will always prevail, he was acknowledged by the best president. The founder of the Lateran Assembly, Pastor Tunde Bakari, prayed to God to bless the country again with a kind of leaders like late Obafemi Awulawo. The politicians today, are, many of them are politicians. They're not, they're not seeking or they've sought power for service. They've sought it for sale and that's the problem we're having. The likes of Awulawo, I pray they will rise again, but it will be a tall order. And for the family, it's a great pleasure to know that our philosophy and ideals remain fresh to Nigerians. I feel very happy, obviously, and I feel so gratified also. Uh, on behalf of Papa and Mama, I feel gratified because it means that their struggles and their efforts have not gone unnoticed and have certainly not gone in vain. The consensus here is that Chief Obafemi Awolowo not only did well for the Western region, but also played a pioneering role in the independence of Nigeria. For such a man, it's only logical that he is remembered and honored. The Lagos State Government is denying reports of a ban on the activities of vehicle inspection officers. The supposed ban was meant to keep them off Lagos roads, a decision allegedly taken by the Governor. But the Lagos State Commissioner for Information and Strategy, Mr. Steve Iorude, told Channels Television that the Vehicle Inspection Unit is currently undergoing a reform that requires the officers to be off the streets. What is going on is not a ban whatsoever. On the operations of the VIO. Uh, what is going on is the need to reform the process uh, without necessarily throwing out the baby with the bathwater. Uh, that's what is happening. How long that will last uh, is really not an issue because uh, as we speak they're still carrying out their operations but you know not on the street for now. Yeah I mean you can carry out you know uh, you can monitor you know, using technology, uh, there are checking points 
where you need to take your car, your vehicle, before you obtain uh, an MOT certificate, which does not require you uh, being stopped midway and people jumping into your vehicle, car keys being seized, you know, cars being towed uh, needlessly. Those are the concerns that, you know, as a responsive and a responsible government, we felt that we should look into. But that's just a minute aspect of the general reform that we think that we need to, uh, um, you know, uh, bring on board, uh, not only for the operations of the VIO, but for the, for the transport sector. Well, let's take you to the southeast, where the federal government, through the Bank of Agriculture, is spending 9 billion naira for agricultural development in the region. Well, speaking in Enugu at an event to unveil the agricultural layout, the bank's delegation says the move is to encourage farmers, employ more women and youth, and ensure food security. We know that uh, you know there are lots of women in the rural areas that are involved in agriculture in the south is zone. But presently, they are not being taken care of. So our intention is to, uh, you know, make sure that you know our, uh, you know, activities, you know, extends, you know, to the rural women. We are also looking at the use on employment, which is, uh, you know, a global, you know, problem because of the economic situation, you know, in the country. We have projects that, uh, you know, are directed at improving, uh, you know, employment rate you know, in Nigeria. Uh, through agriculture, you get, you know, the youth engaged. And therefore, all this uh, restiveness, you know, lack of employment, and how to what type you will reduce, you know, drastically. Uh, Nigerians are very hardworking and resilient people uh, with the strategic refocus, the focus in agriculture uh, now. All hands should be on deck we will uh, produce enough food uh, for our people uh, to feed more and in, in fact have even a lot more <coughs> to export. Staying with agriculture, the Nasserah State Government has signed a memorandum of understanding with a Chinese firm to improve the agricultural base of the north central state. Speaking during the partnership signing, the governor is hopeful that the move will also provide vocation for some people in the state. We also want to make vocation out of that and create opportunities and employment uh, because given the bulk of uh, raw materials of uh, uh, fertilizer blending that is being uh, imported from uh, Morocco and every state is having large bulk of such uh, blender uh, uh, fertilizer uh, raw materials Nasa State is supposed to have about 20,000 metric tons. And with that, we would be able to have much more than we require for our use. Uh, it, 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 it simply follows that we would be able to, to be making some uh, businesses out of fertilizer blending after supplying our farmers. That is why we have to uh, ensure that we get the right type of equipment rather than depending on the decayed one that we already have in the state that works haphazardly. The governor of Nasara State, Tanko Almakura, and news across Nigeria returns in just a moment. <laughs>